What's cracking, yo? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. For a while now, I've said I've been wanting to do a video about what I believe is the most incredible block shot I've ever seen. And this block shot was provided to us by none other than Michael Jordan. Now, I want to give a shout out to Catherine Chang, 99. Even though I said I was going to do this, um, she dropped in, in the comment section. So beautiful, MJ. I watched this a hundred times. That block you mentioned is the most incredible block I've ever seen, and i love to know what it's all about. Hope to see you make a video about it. I uh, appreciate you, Catherine. I'm trying, I was trying to do some digging around and see what I could find. And what I was able to find is that the game happened in the 1980s. I think 87 or 88, don't quote me on that. And it was just a regular season game in Chicago against the Utah Jazz. Nothing really significant about the game itself. It wasn't a playoff game or anything like that. So when I say this is the most incredible, the best block shot I've ever seen, I am just analyzing the block shot itself, the sequence itself. I'm not taking into consideration time, score, magnitude, significance. I get it. Before people say, how is this any better than LeBron James's 2016 block against Iguodala, the chase down block in the finals? Or how is it better than Giannis Antetokounmpo's block in the NBA finals where he was guarding the alley -oop passer and the receiver on the same time and blocked uh, DeAndre Ayton's uh, dunk attempt on the lob. I'm not saying that. I understand those have a more significant place in NBA history given the magnitude. I'm just talking about the block itself. What makes this block so incredible? Mike is, Mike is crazy how he can just contort his body, use his arms, his big baseball mitt hands, so the, the 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 person with the ball, pump fix, gets Jordan in the air. Now Mike is in the air and drifting away, right? Back turned to the player more or less. So Mike misses it off the right hand because it got him in the air. Didn't, didn't really get the chance to block the shot. But then as he goes back up for the second attempt on the shot after a pump fake, Mike literally Freezes in midair, hangs in midair, contorts his body to the left as he's still drifting, switches to the left hand and blocks it behind his back. I am like, what? Do you understand the body contortion, the velocity, the coordination? How quickly you have to react. It is crazy. Enough of me talking about it. Let me show you what this is all about. Check it out right here. Look at look at that. Dude, this is nuts. Look at this. Got Jordan in the air with the pump fake. Mike's back is completely turned. Completely turned. Bro, what? He did not at this point. The guy with the ball, he's definitely like, oh, is that a car? I don't know if that's a car or not. Are those goggles? A car used to wear goggles. Anyway, got him in the air. I think that is a car. Look at this. Now Mike is just hanging in midair. Look how high he is. And now he's looking over his shoulder. The, the, the coordination, the ability to just react so quickly. And then he's starting to extend his left hand. Give me that. Come on, man. Now, listen. I did see another. I saw another video. I can't remember where I found this video or what the video was, but it had a different angle of this. And it does look like from that angle that Mike might not have gotten all ball. Now, I've never seen a footage. I've never seen a video clip of this where... Um, I, where I could see what happened immediately after the block shot. Every footage I've seen cuts after the block. So I don't know if they called a foul or if they counted it as a block. I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, we have to credit him for the block because we don't know anything else unless somebody can dig up that footage and find like game footage of this sequence. But my God, watch it again. 
let's play around with it some more get some smoother back and forth timeline editing so you can see it even better slow motion slow motion mic gathering jumping good pump fake mics in the air slightly drifting to the right keep going keep going keep going yeah yeah i see that ball i see that ball target acquired give me that oh goodness gracious rewind look at this i'm just gonna bring it back bring it forth bring it back golly that I, I I can't I can't say that I've seen this is this is this is just ridiculously impressive and the, the slow motion is amazing to play around with but just knowing how fast the sequence happens in real time it's like a split second and Mike reacts and you know makes it a fantastic play on the ball just not giving up man that's crazy Cause he was about to he was about to eat that joint up on the first time. He was ready. Look at that gather. That that is a gather right there. And Mike already he, at this point, Mike knew he got pump fake. Mike already knew he got pump fake. <laughs> oh man. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Man. Yup, that's my favorite block of all time. That is my favorite block of all time. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I can't say for me, I've seen an all around more impressive block than that. That is just mind boggling. I will never see something like that again. That's such, so, I, I, I can't, I, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. The hang time, the body contortion, the IQ, the mindset. You know how many players, after they just got up in the air, they would have just totally been content with landing and then letting the guy get the jump or let, letting the guy get the shot off at that point? It's like, oh, I'm already drifting. I'm floating by. He got me in the air. I'm either going to try to avoid the contact at all in case he tries to jump into me or I'm just going to land and let him get the shot. Mike was like, no, you think you got me, bro? You think you won with that? With that made pump fake? You think you just did something? You silly, silly man. You silly man. Yeah, you got me in there. And I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that might have been Carr. If it, if, if it is Carr. Carr going up. Think he got it. Think he's like, damn, I just got Mike in the air. I'm about to lay this joint up real easy. Mike said, nigga, what? <laughs> Bam, dude. Mike, Mike's ability to just do things, do things in the air, do things that you wouldn't think was possible on both ends of the court. Obviously, I don't know. I, 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 I that 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 block. I, that is my number one block for me. I've never seen anything like that before when it comes to block shots. I've never seen that duplicated. I've never seen anything even remotely close to what Mike did there. That's special. That's special on so many levels for so many different reasons. The mindset, the mentality to just not give up on, on the defensive play where statistically, you know, if you freeze time, it's like, what what is the, the probability that Mike still gets this block attempt after he's already been pump faked and jumping in the air and drifting. There is a point zero 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 nine percent chance that Mike can get a block and Mike's like, yeah, I'll take those odds. Bro, I I'm not making this up. Anyway, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Uh, do you agree with me? Have you seen this before? What do you what's the best block you've ever seen? I would love to hear your opinion, all right? Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.